coverage you can count on continues with all you need to know. A traffic alert out of Terre Haute. First Street between Oak and Crawford will be blocked off and closed during the annual Casa Trunk or Treat event. That event is tonight from 6 to 8. Now the closure is to allow for safe crossing for people who park in Fairbanks Park and walk across the street to the Vigo County Annex. People in Northern California are dealing with a powerful storm this morning. That story tops this look at national headlines from CBS News. A powerful storm flooded Northern California highways, toppling trees and causing mud flows in some areas scorched by wildfires. The National Weather Service is warning that the bomb cyclone storm will likely produce more heavy rain with flash flooding, strong winds and large waves along California's coast. President Biden met with two key Democratic senators, Joe Manchin and Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, at the president's Delaware home yesterday. They discussed an impasse in Biden's domestic and environmental spending plan. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi says she expects to see a deal on a framework by the end of the week. And Dr. Anthony Fauci says COVID vaccines for kids between ages 5 and 11 will likely be available in the first half of November. FDA approval of Pfizer's dose application for children could come as early as this week. Those are some of the day's top stories. I'm Monica Ricks, CBS News, New York. Some people will now be able to get a Moderna or Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 booster shot. For Moderna, it's recommended you get the booster six months after your second COVID-19 vaccine dose. Anyone 65 and older is eligible to get either booster vaccine. Anyone at greater risk or with underlying health conditions is also eligible for the booster shots. Now, if you got the one-shot Johnson & Johnson vaccine, it's recommended you get a booster two months after getting your initial dose. Over in Illinois now, more than 55,000 and daycare center employees will be required to get vaccinated. Those who don't want the vaccine will need to test at least once per week. Staff will be required to receive a single dose vaccine or the first dose of a two dose vaccine by December 3rd. The second dose will be required by January 3rd. Tonight, the Vigo County Health Department is teaming up with the Indiana State Department of Health. They're hosting an Ask the Experts webinar. This will be from 7 to 8 on Facebook Live on the MDWISE page. Various health officials like Dr. Darren Brucken will answer questions you may have about the COVID-19 vaccine or other vaccinations. Tomorrow, a Back on Track event is being held at the Vigo County Health Department. Families are invited and kids can get a COVID-19 shot if they're eligible or any other vaccinations that may be due. There's also going to be free food and games for the kids. Walmart's recalling an aromatherapy room spray that's due to the risk of a potentially deadly bacteria. The recall covers the Better Homes and Gardens branded essential oil infused aromatherapy room spray with gemstones. The bacteria that may be in the bottles can cause a potentially fatal condition called malleolidosis. Officials say don't open the bottle or even attempt it to throw it away yourself. Return it to Walmart in a clear zip top double bag for a full refund. And if you've used it in the last 21 days and have a fever or other symptoms, see a doctor immediately. Today through Sunday, you can enjoy a taste of Knox County. The Chamber of Commerce tells us the week long event features 15 local restaurants for you to try out. All week, you'll be able to get special deals. The Chamber is also offering prizes to people who use the hashtag Taste of Knox County. We're in the upper 50s early today, but then we're going to cool down throughout the rest of the afternoon. So our temperatures tonight are going to drop to around 40 degrees, and we're going to see the potential for some light scattered rain as the day goes on today. So make sure you have the rain gear ready. Make sure you're prepared for cooler conditions over the course of this afternoon tonight. Tomorrow, much nicer, but cool. We're mostly sunny. High is going to be around 60 degrees. And remember, that's mid to late afternoon, so our temperatures are actually going to be closer to the upper 50s as the day goes on, and we're going to be at 60 degrees at most. Now, we're going to stay dry through Wednesday. We're going to warm up a little bit, but then another chance of rain will arrive Thursday. That's all the time we have. Have a